Bill was very smart and inquisitive and came to conclusions in a different way than other people normally did. She loved science fiction and was open to the idea that the concepts it proposed were real and affected the lives of those around her. When Heather introduced her to a strange puddle, she was open to the idea of alien lizard possession, no matter how preposterous the twelfth doctor found it. She was also easily able to figure out that the doctor intended to wipe her memory when he tried to put his hands on her head, and even called out the doctor for thinking she was stupid enough to fall for it. Bill's relationship with Moira tended to be similar to roommates rather than mother and daughter. Backing this up is that Bill tried to keep out of Moira's personal life by never remembering her partner's names. Bill hinted that she actually got along well with some of them. Bill was also rather bold, hating the idea of being spoken to in a sexist manner and having to withhold her opinion due to racial stereotypes of the 19th century. When Lord Sutcliffe demanded she submit to him, Bill merely sneered at him. She also learned to understand the need to not dwell on matters that angered her as the doctor taught her there simply wasn't time to waste on such matters. Bill was also more prone to profanity than many of the doctor's other companions. Thin Ice, the lie of the land, and also once called the doctor a bloody ass. Bill was a lesbian. She had a crush on a girl who attended the doctor's lectures and developed an interest in another young woman, Heather. Despite having never met her mother, Bill invented an imaginary version of her which she spoke to for personal comfort. According to Bill, this version always told her, with some people you can smell the wind in their clothes, a saying Bill made up based on what she thought her mother would say, 